Did dinosaurs and man live at the same time? Is there scientific evidence that dinosaurs died out only after sin entered into the world? What can thorns in the fossil record tell us? Find out more on this episode of Wonders Without Number. When we have a look at this fossil here, it's an idea of where we got to. I found this fossil in Canada in 2007. Do you notice the spikes? I do. Yeah. It looks, those are thorns. They look like thorns, look don't like they? like thorns. In fact, let's be honest, Dave. You've been to plenty of museums? Sure. Have you ever seen a specimen of a fossil thorn in a museum? I can't say I have. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just totally blessed about how God's led us to places where we can find fossils that you don't see in secular museums. Right. But what's interesting is you can trace this layer from Alabama all the way up through Tennessee, through Pennsylvania, out through Nova Scotia, mm. across to England, across Germany, because I have, mm -hmm. all the way to the bottom of Russia. And this layer crosses 186 degrees of the Earth's surface, wow. and it's full of catastrophically deposited plants, ripped up, dumped and buried, including the thorns, including the bark mm -hmm. that's been coalified, because normally plant debris just rots like sure. everything else does. So you've got evidence of massive flooding here as well. Okay. Notice the word we've been dealing with? Yes, dinosaurs. Mm. The fossils. Have a look at that. Oh, okay, what do we have here? Okay, well see my diagram here? Mm -hmm. This is a schematic diagram. Having been to Nova Scotia many times, having examined all these cliffs and mapped them, yes. basically what you find is down the bottom of the layers, you have you know those sort of um, crab-like trilobite things down the bottom yeah. there. But up here is the layer we've been talking about, okay. the thorn fossils. But just around the corner from there, you find a layer of dinosaur footprints. Really? So that this are the dinosaur footprints. Wow. Above the layer of thorns. When you look at this and people say, come on, how could you believe Noah could fit two 60 foot long Apatosaurus yeah, on Noah's yeah, Ark, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you say, well, hang on, he had two in his pocket. There were, yes. That's, that's the babies. The dinosaurs were born out of eggs this big. Wow. You could hold them in your hand. No matter how big they grew, mm -hmm. they all started off ever so tiny. 